from the enchanting streets of London's literary tales to the vibrant campuses of India, Arpita Karwa's journey unfolds. After capturing the essence of London in her vlog series, she embarked on a transformative college tour. In colleges across India, Arpita ignited the love for literature, shared UGC net insights and personally answered questions about both literature and career. Today, we present a snippet from Arpita's impactful lecture at Christ University, Bangalore. Get ready for a dose of literary inspiration as Arpita shares her journey and insights at Christ University. We are honored and elated to have Dr. Arpita Kaaba as the distinguished speaker for the lecture on Beyond the Page, English Literature, Career, Fulfillment and Better Resilience. Dr. Arpita Kaaba is a gold medalist from Rajasthan University and a PhD voter in English Literature, whose passion and dedication to the world of literature have led to the creation of the renowned startup www.arpitakaaba.com, a beacon of trust and knowledge in the realm of English Literature and Dr. Karva's journey does not end here. She has also ventured into the world of online education, achieving remarkable success on her YouTube channel with 5.9 instructors and doers worldwide. Dr. Karva's passion for key literature in an engaging way led her on a fascinating journey. Her blog series, Boris on This Passion, took her to Europe, where she explored sites related to famous authors. Over the past five years, Dr. Carl Wang has worked closely with psychologists in the field of mental health, allowing her to gain a profound understanding of the challenges that students often face during their academic journeys. Her commitment to policy education has led her to fund impactful workshops on English literature and seminars on mental health awareness. This session will provide us with a wealth of knowledge and insights on various aspects of English literature career opportunities, UGC industry preparation, entrepreneurship, and student federal challenges. Once again, we are delighted to welcome you, Matt. Even we look forward to the insights that you will share with us today. As we have a little time constraint, I might have to rush you through the slides. So please, uh, you know, pay your full attention because I will not have a lot of time to explain a few topics. So I would also want to take you through my journey uh, because I believe that I have been attached to the field of English literature since a long time. One thing I would want to ask from each one of you, what do you think is the difference between a dream and a goal? Difference between a dream and a goal. Get employment. Okay. Now, one thing. So, get employment is not a goal, I would say. It is more of a dream. In dream, you have more emotional investment compared to the goal. Okay, um, I would slightly disagree because when you work towards your goal, you get more attached to it. We all have dreams, right? And our dreams keeps changing. According to me, a dream is a vision for future. Just like the gentleman out there pointed out, I want employment. I want to like... Um, get I, I want to get a good job. Now it is a vision of future, it's a beautiful vision of future where you see yourself um, you know dressed up in a good suit and going to an office every day at 9 in the morning. That is a vision of future but it lacks a plan of achievement. So where I just said that you know you, what you mentioned was a dream and not a goal is because employment in itself, employment in itself is a very very vast term. You don't know which kind of job do you want to get, how do you get it, how much hours do you have to work to clear that interview. You don't know what kind of salary package do you want. It has to be very, very specific. Uh, another interesting thing that I would want to tell you right here is that it is very important for each one of you to have a LinkedIn profile and be very very active on LinkedIn because LinkedIn as a platform gives you endless opportunities. I was able to connect with so many brilliant people on LinkedIn which I thought would never accept my request and would never respond to my messages. I hope you must have heard of Ankur Variku. 
right so ankur variku was a youtuber which i was been following since like long and recently 2 3 months back i just like watched one of his videos and i was really gaga and i thought of sending him a message on linkedin sharing my feedback about the video and next day i saw uh, that he replied to my message and then we started a conversation where i showed my interest in like meeting him and his team and he was like why not we are going to a place near uttarakhand for a vacation and i'm going with my entire team so why not you join us and get i'll introduce you to my team and um, you can also suggest us some people who are really enthusiastic about working with us so it is as simple as getting in touch with these people which we think would never respond to our messages so something of this sort if you start at an early age you you get to make a lot of new connections and another interesting thing is in startup get into entrepreneurship face this challenge that we don't have resources humko to pata hi nahi hai kafi sari cheeze hamare paas to paise nahi hai so how do we start and this requires a big setup and we don't have money for that setup or we don't have resources for that setup how do we do just want to tell you it's very very simple to start something no company started directly by opening a factory they started by pitching products to normal customers on a day to day basis from their dining table mama arts and a lot of fashion brands they all started from their house they had the production happening in their house the products were getting packed in on the dining table and that is how they were couriering it to the people and only after getting a successful response they could get out in the market and look for investors so the journey is long but then it starts with no resources is what we need to understand so i think with that note i would like to end the session i hope the session was beneficial and you were able to take some key pointers with you and would definitely i would really uh, want you to implement those key pointers because the mark me knowledge rakh ke kahin koi nahi pahuncha hai only after implementing these things is something that is going to take us to uh the new heights so thank you so much for being such a patient uh, audience